Great hosting the San Diego goal, so battle of SoCal. See this Rockford power play and quick work, tic-tac-toe, and they bury it on the far side as Krona couldn't get to the pipe in time. And the Rockford Ice Hawks have the first goal of this game and the time of the power play tally at the 10.47 mark, and it comes off the stick of Enders. And the Rockford Ice Sox capitalized quickly on the first power play for them in this game. Beautiful goal. Big key, win the draw. Win the draw, you get possession right away, and there's quick puck movement. The change of the angle of attack from the just the flank down low, right off the to the goal line, then straight across. Activation from the tangled up with Del Mastro. Here comes Anders Bjork back up the ice for Rockford across the line. Bjork hits Anderson back door. Hardman scores. Joey Anderson has been the maestro here in this first period, and he conducts the second goal of the night for Rockford. This time, it's Mike Hardman who's the beneficiary on the back door. 5.55 left here in the first. Bjork to Anderson, who zipped it right back across for Mike Hardman. And once again, Magnus Krona, the rookie making his debut tonight, had absolutely no chance. And the ice Kindop blocks a puck out to center. And the Barracuda step back across the line. Slap shot by Frisch. Missed by six inches on the far side. And it caroms all the way out of the zone. Here comes Jacob Peterson. A young Swede across the line. Cardwell right in front. They score. Brandon Coe knocks one past Camesso. And it's 2-1. to one. San Jose is on the board here at Tech CU Arena. Walking the blue line. Shoots through a body. One-timer. They score. It's Tepley off the deflection. Michael Tepley scores a power play goal for the Ice Hogs, and it's 3-1. A shot from the top from Isaac Phillips. Ricochet to Michael Tepley. And Tepley gets goal number one on the season. He took it off one touch, wasted no time, and had a wide open cage to shoot at. Keep the same digits. So Tepley now has 92. David Gost walks right in and scores! Another quick one from Rockford. This time it's David Gust. In last year's leading scorer, waited about a period and five minutes to pot his first of the year. And it was a beauty. 14-15 left in the second. And watch David Gust. Oh, to the backhand. Thanks for coming. Right through the five hole. And all of a sudden, the Ice Hogs have taken firm control of this game. They've scored twice. He goes diagonal to Ryan Carpenter, the 32-year-old, 11-year vet. Spun to this near wing for Guchin. High slot. Limblom shoots. Rebound loose. And Camesso got over and made a glorious save. One of his better saves of his debut here tonight. Camesso sliding to his. Draft picks on this Barracuda roster. They have eight rookies that are on the roster currently. Here's a two on one out of nowhere. Sini right in front. Gust has his second. Sini and Gust, where have we seen that before? Five to one, Rockford. Out of nowhere, Brett Sini and David Gust exploded from the neutral zone. Sini made the play up the wing, found Gust. And David Gust is so good at that forehand, backhand. Uh, Rolsa doesn't have any points yet. That's produced a couple of scoring chances, and there he capitalizes on one. Oh, it's the reverse jinx. Ryder Rolston gets his first pro goal. Jalen Leipin with the setup, and Ryder Rolston buries it to make it 6-1. I was just going to say, he's been fun to watch. He just hasn't been rewarded yet, and that time, that's the definition of rewarded. Leipen helps retrieve the puck, feeds Rolston, who buries it past a sprawling Magnus Krona. And the rookie out and maybe steal a couple with his net empty, making it a two-man advantage. Nathan Todd wraps this around the boards in the Rockford zone. Sabrin back up the wall and then over to Kavanke. Peterson had it poked out by Leipen. Leipen grappling after it, and it's Kindop who hits the empty net. Bryce Kindop gets his first of the year, an empty netter while shorthanded, 
and it's seven to one. So he had his glove well out in front and got a piece of it. Carpenter sets up Gushin across one timer. Muka McDoolin scores. It might have been tipped in. 309 left in the third period, and it's seven to two.